Hi everyone! Today is Monday, the 7th of December, and in a week's time, on the 14th of December, there will be a total solar eclipse happening in South America. So, as a solar physicist, I had plans to go uh, from the beginning of the year, but because of pandemic happening, I am no longer able to travel all the way to South America. That said, last year, in July 2019, there was another solar eclipse that I was able to, to, to see, to witness. And I've taken a few snapshots that I would like to share with you in this video. A solar eclipse happens when the moon is in between the Earth and the sun. The position of the moon blocks the sunlight so that a shadow appears on the surface of the Earth. There are different types of eclipses, but what we call a total eclipse is when the moon completely covers the sun's surface and it happens around every year and a half somewhere on Earth. As you can see in this video, the moon shadow is relatively small, so that you really have to be at the right location to get into the full shadow of what is called the path of totality. And so, at the beginning of July 2019, I travelled all the way to San Juan in Argentina. Hola chicos, um, so I've arrived in San Juan uh, where the conference is, it's a beautiful day, I don't know whether you can see the blue sky, there's not a single cloud, uh, so I'm heading to the conference center right now, uh, I'm going to pick up my, my badge um, as well as my eclipse sunglasses and we're going to head off to uh, the site where we're going to see the, sea, to see the eclipse. So before I start sharing with you what happens when I witness the total solar eclipse, let me share with you why we as solar physicists are interested in solar eclipses. A total solar eclipse is a magnificent phenomenon, but for us solar physicists, a solar eclipse is much more than that. As you can see in this picture, when the moon covers the entire surface of the sun, it reveals the sun's atmosphere, what we call the sun's corona. The solar corona, or its atmosphere, is a fascinating place. This is where we see our star, the sun, being really, really active. As you can see now, there is a phenomenon that we call a flare that is happening. It releases a lot of energy. And the magnetic field is being filled by hotter and hotter plasma, so that it reveals really magnificent structures. Some of the flares will send storms in space. This is why I really like to study solar storms, because they reveal how much active our star is and how it impacts the whole solar system. In the north of San Juan, <laughs> and we're just doing a little hike because <laughs> we have we have how long do we have two hours to kill before first contact between the moon and the sun? Okay, so you feel <laughs> and we're just enjoying the views because it's just. So we are set, we found a really nice place to watch the eclipse. Hi. <laughs> so there are some people on the mountain all the way there and then the rest of people is all the way there, here. And we like this spot because we have a really nice view on the valley and of course of the sun. Very excited!
so I moved away from my colleagues who are there just so that I can talk to the camera um, so yeah we are approaching the Talini and uh, we had to put uh, layers because it's getting quite cold um, and it just feels like it's sunset uh, but it's weird because the, the sun is still up there but the light that we get and like kind of the sensation of um, the things being colder um, it's really like looking at the sunsets on a beach um, so that's really cool um, I really like it so yeah totality really soon I'm really getting excited <laughs> so the last drink you know it's like when a fire dies <laughs> and you got the, the little reddish thing on But do what Jim, Jim is doing That you look through the uh, Lower than, than your glasses And you yeah. see the landscape And the green light Yes, then oh, 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 almost diamond ring. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, this is like oh no. Uh -huh. Oh Jesus, diamond yes! ring! Oh my yeah. god! Oh my 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 god! Wow. <laughs> so we're on our way back to the bus. Um, Totality has finished. Uh, and um, so the moon is still covering part of the sun um, but the sun is reappearing it's actually getting warmer I had to put my jacket on because it was just so cold I think I don't know how much degrees we lost but that was pretty intense <laughs> uh, and I'm having a, a look on the valley look at this this is just completely amazing and uh, with a change of light it's, it's kind of like looking at a sunset and a sunrise within the space of a uh, you know, a few few minutes um, and well, a few hours as well because if you look at, you know, from the moment the, the moon starts to cover cover the sun uh, it is quite a long time but um, the most impressive is of course the minutes before totality and just after so uh, I guess it's my first one uh, Tikle is my second eclipse but the first one that I, I ever seen when I was a teenager was 1999 um, I was in Paris at the time it was really cloudy, <laughs> so I didn't get to see anything. Um, I was really excited for the 2017 one, but I couldn't go. Um, uh, the 2017 one was one that crossed um, all over uh, the, the USA. And so that's my first one. And I have to say that it's completely magical. I am completely in awe. And I do have to say that um, sharing it with... Uh, uh, with my colleagues they're saying hello at the moment, <laughs> they're waiting for me. Uh, just seeing it with my colleagues, honestly, it was just, um, you know, we all study the sun and um, actually the ones that were with me, we all study um, the corona, which is the, the sun's atmosphere. And to look at it with the naked eye, um, to look at the structures, you know, this is what we study in such a beautiful place. It's just, um, it's, yeah, it just, just gave me... A lot of shivers and <laughs> yeah really excited so I understand why one can have eclipse fever because it's two minutes it's just not long enough I really want to go and see another one actually there's another one um, in again in Argentina next year so I probably will do it no matter what uh, so yeah this is 
where we are. I'm just taking a good view after this video. That was such an amazing experience. If you ever get to see an eclipse, I really recommend seeing one. It's going down, but it's going down behind the mountains, and this is what is going on. Come for this. Yes. So there is like a an eclipse, but at the same time, it's going down. It's pretty amazing. So it's 7 a.m. Um, and it's dark outside still and I am going to the airport in a few minutes. So that's my journey in Argentina that's finished in San Juan. Um, so bye bye Argentina, you've been amazing, um, if not too cold for me. <laughs> bye! Making this video reminded me of how a great experience I had going to South America and I'm really really sad not to be going again this year but I really hope that I'll get to see another solar eclipse um, anytime soon. Anyways, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe.